backing into my own country. You know, uh, everyone knows that, you know, there have been all sorts of various different issues, corruption happening all over the place, and all of the various different things that may have been happening. You know, political parties polarizing the whole thing, getting people to hate each other's guts and, you know, fight and do all sorts of very unhealthy behaviors and everything else. And um, it was a bit like, you know, crispy environment, right? You could feel that on the streets. You could feel how people are, you know, very pissed off, annoyed, that things are not happening fast enough and everything else. Uh, but unfortunately, unfortunately, some, sometimes certain events happen that clearly show you how this could be changed, right? So a couple of days ago, you, probably got, you, you guys probably heard about that train crash that happened in Galicia, right? So what happened there? It was a tragedy. It was dramatic. It was something that I still get goosebumps when I, when I think about it. But look at what happened. People out on the streets, people in their homes, they heard about it, they felt it because it was right next door to them. And what did they do? Did they continue watching TV? No, they all went out to help people who were in need, to help the wounded, to get, you know, cash until it's out, to check out what was happening, to see how they could help, you know, uh, firefighters and policemen and everything else. And it was a whole human effort. And that's something that we cannot deny. And that is our human nature to always help people who are in need regardless. And let's face it, organizations are forcing a lot of people to be in need. And what's going to happen is that we as human beings are going to unite together to help each other. It's the least that we could do as human beings. And, and this is something, you know, this is something that I have been saying all along, and I haven't been the first one saying this. And that is, you know, we cannot deny as human beings helping another human being in need is not in our nature, right? So that's what's going to break. That's what's going to help the whole thing break and reunite it again. Because that's when I help people understand that, yes, we have all been fighting with each other. We have all been, you know, killing each other literally. But eventually, whenever we go through those massively disruptive events, we all unite for one purpose. And that one purpose, back again to what I said, is our mere survival, right, in this planet. That's what's going to give you the tipping point. And then you're going to ask me, okay, so when is that going to happen? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It could be tomorrow. It could be two years. It could be 20 years. Um, I, I can tell you, though, that I know it's going to happen. Right? And, and, and again, I, you know, plenty of people I know out there, when they listen to this, they will think that I'm very utopian and whatever. But I prefer to be an optimist. You know, I, prefer to, I, I prefer to say that we're living in some very exciting and very interesting times that will probably change the history of humanity as we know it, um, regardless of whatever we have done in the past, in the past centuries and thousands of years. And I think that we have got a huge opportunity to influence the final outcome. We as, as the common people, so to speak, versus waiting for one organization or one group of selected elite or whatever to make that decision for us. Right. I think that we need, I think we need to get that back.